the things that pertain to the spirit of God. That's the reason we ought to open up wide. Let God's word reside in us. So we can keep God's spirit on our mind and our hearts and in our lives. Folk will be able to see. There's a difference between you and the man of the flesh. They'll be able to tell that you're not what you used to be. But something has happened. You, you're almost like a new person when I am. Because I'm a new creation <laughs> in Christ Jesus. Are you here tonight? You understand that there is no condemnation, but Lord have mercy. You sure been living like you're on your way to the to the to the gas chamber. Okay. You know, because some of us have been conditioned uh -huh. to think that we can't live above the sin of this flesh. Right. We've been conditioned to think that even though Paul wrote it so plain in Romans chapter 6 and verse number 1, what shall we then say? Yes. Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. There are so many of us who are more concerned with what God is going to let me get away with. Than we are what God wants me to get away from. Did y'all catch that? that that's, that's how folks stay in it. But God understands. God knows my heart. God is a love. Yes, he is. He is a loving God. He is a long-suffering God. But why are you focusing on, on more of what, what God is going to let you get away with than what God wants you to get away from? That really needs to be your focus. I love him enough. Well, if this is what he wants me to abstain from, abstain I will. That's how much I love him. Because he first loved me. If you're here, Realize that you're subject to the Lord's invitation tonight. The invitation is for you to get your house in order. Lord knows, I hope you live to let me get that sermon together. When he sent his prophet to King Hezekiah, yes, told him, set your house in order. Because <laughs> you can really lay that. With th this is the invitation for you tonight. Set your house in order. Because yes. you don't know where death is. Yeah, he, he, he begged the Lord for some more time. Yes. And the Lord gave him 15 more years, but uh, you might not have that privilege. Okay. You, my Lord may be telling you you might set your house in order. Because he might call you in the morning. Exactly. And that is one call that you'll never have the power to refuse to answer. Right. So make your calling and your election sure tonight. Get your life right with the Lord tonight. Repent of the sins if you need to. Make the confession that you need to so that God can forgive you and restore you back unto him. If you're not his child, you need to become one by believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Repenting of your sins, Romans uh, Repent of the sin, Luke 13, 3. Confessing the fact that he is God's son, Romans 10, 9, 10. Then being baptized in water for the remission of your sins, Acts 2 and verse number 38. Yeah. If you do that, God will add you to the church and just stay in the church. I know a bunch of stuff happens in the church, but stay in there anyway. Amen. Because the Lord, the Lord told us long before he built the church yeah. that the church is like a man yeah. that's been cast into the sea. When you draw that net to shore, yes. you got some stuff in there that you can use, and you got some stuff in there you're going to have to refuse. Exactly. <laughs> but don't you refuse, let the Lord refuse. Exactly right. The Lord will do the separate. He, sure will. he will move the ants from the saints. That's, that's, that's Amen. It. Amen. That's his job. Amen. My job is just to be good to him, Amen. to love him, to pray for them, yeah. to try to help them yeah. when they want help. When they don't want help, I'll bag on up. Yeah. Let the Lord turn them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah. Because he's going to do the separate. He's going to do it. It's his business. He know what he's doing. He sure does. So the Lord told you before he built the church what the church was going to be like. And yet, we get so surprised. 
Uh, when we see stuff going on. That's right. Lord, I told you for one brick was put upon one other spiritual brick how that's the church right. was going to be. That's right. So we ought to expect it. That's right. We ought to be surprised when it don't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so that mean the devil is planning something? Yes, sir. Be wise as serpents, but harmless as a dove. That's right. Oh, no, we still walking through wolf country, don't you? <laughs> be wise as a serpent, but be harmless as a dove. And you can exemplify the Spirit of God in such a way that you can turn an individual who you thought couldn't be turned into something that God would be pleased with. If you need to respond, come right now. It's together. We're standing as we say. Wonder. <laughs>